Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see from the channel, I haven't made any videos recently the last couple of days, and I've kind of left this one alone. I haven't touched it, even though I've seen a lot of videos pertaining to it, because I kind of wanted to sit back and settle on it, think about it a little bit, and give some thoughts. But additionally today, we also received an update. So for those of you who are familiar with it and seen the other videos related to it, there was an issue with 2022 Topps Chrome, where some short printed rookies that were supposed to be included as part of it were found not to be included in the product where people were opening up boxes and boxes and boxes and not finding these short printed rookies. Part of the challenge uh, that happened as a result of it is that it was hard to say. We, we knew that there seemed to be a bit of a problem because nobody was finding them. But then at the same time, there was no specific print run odds of, of no print run, stated print run or specific odds pertaining to the rookies and how often they're supposed to show up. So is it a case? So it was a case of people be opening up boxes, but it was very possible, depending on how many they were supposed to be printing, that you could open a couple of boxes and not get them, and that could be perfectly legitimate. But as more people open up more boxes, obviously more questions got asked, and then Tops gave us an update a couple of days ago that confirmed that in fact the stuff had not been included in the hobby boxes as they expected. Now the initial uh, kind of response that they gave was a little bit open-ended. It was a little bit vague because it only covered certain specific types of products for 2022 Topps Chrome that they were talking about for the baseball product. But this one actually today is an update that includes a little bit more information. And I will include a link to this in the description for you if you want to read the whole thing. But I will touch on a couple of the key pieces of it. So specifically, a lot of this is st structured very similarly to this first response. But there's a couple of pieces I'm going to add that are newer here that I don't believe was in the first one. So the first part is, you know, top side priorities are customers, et cetera, et cetera. So, and this first section is almost verbatim what was in the first one, but this next piece is a little bit different from what I remember from the first time I read it. This issue does not pertain to all 2022 Top Scrum baseball products because that was left a little bit open-ended because they kind of mentioned hobby, but then obviously there's other variants of the, of the boxes that Tops would be producing and bringing out there. You know, are any of these short prints available in any of the versions? So here they confirm that that is the case. This issue does not pertain to all 2022 Top Scrum baseball products. The short print rookie variations were included in the Hobby Light product, available exclusively on Tops.com, and the Sonic and Logo Fractor Edition products, which will both be available at a later date. So that's three products specifically that have these short printed rookie variations presumably in them. Again, we'll have to see what happens, but I know that Hobby Light product is available on the site, so, you know, I don't know if that's going to be the case. I'd be interested to see if anyone takes a gamble and decides to open them up and confirms if that is the case. Again, we don't know what the odds are, so it'd be hard to say how many boxes you'd have to open to get one, presumably. For those who purchase Hobby or Hobby Jumbo products, because those are the ones that we seemingly have confirmed that didn't have anything, that did not contain the short print rookie variations, Topps is providing one additional four-card silver pack for each 2022 Topps Chrome Hobby and Hobby Jumbo baseball box purchased through Topps.com, Hobby Shops, or Breakers that purchased directly from us. Topps has updated these additional silver packs to include four cards, and the short print variations will be randomly inserted in these packs. Additional cards may also include a mix of 2022 baseball base cards, along with inserts and other surprises. Tops is working directly with every distribution channel and product to ensure these packs are properly distributed through the original sellers, with shipments starting on September 30th, 2022. And then from there on, they include some information about how eligible customers would redeem the products, so that's included here. And it also it says here, Tops Chrome Lite is excluded from the silver program as the short prints were properly inserted into the product, so they are making that distinction. Value box purchases on tops.com are not eligible for the silver packs, but are available for the drawing, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you can read the additional information there. It does give you some info about the rest of it. But the big differentiator for me was that they are making reference that some of the products did actually get these short print variants. So it's going to be interesting to me uh, to see how often they end up coming out of these boxes, uh, if people end up opening them. Now, the other reason I kind of stayed back on this one, because I was kind of curious and wanted to let it play out a little bit and get some thoughts together of it, is... Kind of the reason that when I had a comment that specifically asked, you know, why I didn't make a video about it, it's just that I'm not opening the product. So as a collector, it really had no impact on me. And even if I was interested in getting those short prints, I'd be looking at it as a, as a person buying singles. So whether so if they weren't in the boxes originally, that doesn't really affect me either. I can kind of sit back and wait. And Well, if, as long as you release them eventually and I have a chance to go buy them, then the secondary market will figure out what they cost and what they should be worth and all that good stuff. But I do understand for people that open up these boxes, with the belief that they had a legitimate shot at these cards, I understand them being upset. But it does lead me to one other thing that I kind of wanted to share. This is my other thought about it. So on the one hand, uh, that is the update. And again, I'll, I'll include a link in the description to it for you if you want to check it out and read, read through it yourself. But the other piece of the puzzle is obviously now we know that presumably these short print variants did make it into some of the products. Obviously not the hobby and jumbo and jumbo hobby. But at the same time, I thought the response to it was interesting. If you're a person who bought this product and feels like you were shortchanged as far as that's concerned, I could completely understand that. I did feel, though, that a lot of the uh, 
the angry responses were a little bit over the top related to it because it was kind of weird because as I said, these are short print variants that don't have any specific set uh, odds that you're supposed to get them in. It's not like one per box or something where like, well, if you buy the box and you didn't get it, then you were shortchanged something. This is an instance where depending on how many they actually produce or printed, you could open up multiple boxes and not get them even if they, everything had been put in the packs the way they were supposed to be in the first place. And it's kind of um, kind of telling that some of these people were really super upset about it because it kind of tells you that they didn't think the value proposition was in the was in the boxes in the first place because they needed this outside shot at hitting kind of a mini lottery ticket here in order to make it worthwhile because they because a lot of them claimed that they were going to return the boxes and demand refunds and all that stuff and I got a little bit of a sense of that not everyone but I got a little bit of a sense of that and I did think it was interesting because I thought if you didn't think it was worthwhile without these short printed variations rookie variations that you were not guaranteed in any way shape or form then that's testament to maybe the product was just overpriced which obviously some people also mentioned that the box prices had gone up, which made them less of a, you know, a worse value, which I agree with. But it's one of those things where the value was not very good and you have to hope for kind of a lottery hit. The ROI on boxes is bad anyway. So if you're really having to hope for a lottery hit just to make it okay and potentially win once in a while, I, I, I just think the secondary market failed in the opportunity to mitigate that itself. It, it, if really the value doesn't seem to be there, well then don't buy the boxes. Because even with those rookie short prints, I really didn't think the value was there, personally. Could you pull great cards out of it? Sure. And by the way, even now, you could still pull some cards that would be worthwhile for the box. But again, you're you're hoping. You're crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. So it's hard for me to be as sympathetic for, for a lot of these folks that really freaked out about it as, as other people can be. Just because it's like, well, it feels like the, the box itself wasn't a great value to begin with. It didn't feel like the there was enough in there to make it work and the price was probably too high related to it. So the secondary market probably should have come down on it whether the short print variants were in there or not. So it's one of those things where I guess you just have to figure it out for yourself and decide. But anyway, hopefully uh, this update provides a little bit of clarity on that. We'll have to see again. I'd be curious to see if it plays out that way. Uh, this Hobby Light product, uh, whether the, in fact these short print variants start coming out of those boxes, see how many people actually take it up on actually opening them now and is, is one me mechanism to actually get your hands on these. And as far as the silver packs are concerned, that's a whole different conversation. Who's going to get them? How many of them are actually going to make it out to people? How many of them are going to be like hoarded or, you know, potentially held for a while? There's a lot of questions pertaining to silver packs that I can't answer and something that I will be very curious to see and kind of observe and keep an eye out on. Anyway, I'm curious about your thoughts about this. Uh, obviously, if you were responding to the deluge of videos about it in the first place, obviously you, your feelings may not have changed on that. I am curious, though, if it does change anything for you, the fact that it seems like, based on what's written here, that the, it is possible to pull these out of actual packs for a product that does exist, but not the one that a lot of people would have been expecting. So it wasn't that none of them made it out into packs, is that they only made it out of certain types of packs and not other types. So I'd be curious if you had any thoughts pertaining to that or the silver packs or anything else related to this in general. Otherwise, I'll check it out in the comments section. More videos coming up on the channel. We'll be doing the live stream again tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Fridays. We always do it Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, so we'll be doing that. And if you guys want to talk about this, we definitely can, or anything else that's going on in the hobby that you want to chat about. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks very much. We'll catch you in the next one.